Hey guys, just want to make a quick video on my wife's truck here. This is a 1996 K1500-ish uh, Chevy, of course. Um, I have the bed it's right there, which I'm going to be putting on soon, but I figured I'd make a quick video and uh, show you guys around the truck. So, uh, like I said, this is K1500-96. It's no longer on its original frame or running gear. This right here is what the truck started out on. It was a six inch rough country lift, three inch body lift and uh, Chevy 350 automatic uh, stock everything else pretty much. And now this is it. It is a uh, Cummins now, 12 valve Cummins with a NV5600 and a uh, straight axle swap and the whole nine yards. So it's on 37th right now, eight inches of lift, give or take some. Now it's not done. I mean, clearly it doesn't have a box on it. It's not completely done. It's merely to the point where it will start, move itself, stop, and uh, that's about it. Um, it's been a lot of work to get to this point and uh, just figured I'd show you guys it. Start off inside here. You gotta put some trim and stuff back on. There's a six speed, like I said, it was automatic. Still have to put the shifter in for transfer case as this originally had push buttons up there. I just got the block off plate and uh, got a manual shift. It's actually a NV271F forward transfer case in here. Um, Ford axles, uh, Super Duty Dana 60 up front we swapped in here and uh, worked out pretty slick. Uh, I haven't driven it down the road yet really. Um, I'm excited to. We'll see how it does. But coil springs with radius arms which still need paint but it's all under there. And then the rear is the Sterling 10 and a half bone stock axle, disc brakes. I just welded on different perches. And then we did a shackle flip in the rear. Uh, these shackles are getting shortened. This is sliding back on the frame some. Uh, just because I don't like that angle. But let me show you under the hood. Right now, my fuel gauge would work if it was hooked up, which it will be soon. Um, my uh, battery, um, coolant, and oil pressure all work. The speedometer and the speedo should work soon. I got the Dakota Digital um, box to hopefully get both of those working. Still a clutch pedal of a two-wheel drive V6 truck, but uh, worked great. And I just cut down the factory one. This truck had vacuum brakes on it before. Took a hydro boost unit. And uh, under here is still a mess. And uh, like I said, it's nowhere near done, but it's it, it runs and does enough to move itself. So motor mounts, I made myself. I use second gen mounts. You can kind of see down there um, what I did. Maybe a little bit clearer on this side. I made them out of quarter inch plate. They're super strong. They're not going anywhere. There's no body lift on this truck. Just so you guys know, it had a three inch. It no longer has any body lift. Just because I don't care for the way they look. Um, all this wiring needs to be gone through. My plan is to get everything I want working first and then go through and uh, trim out the wiring harness. No longer has ABS brakes, all that wiring will get deleted here soon. Um, pretty much stock 12 valve for right now. Uh, it will be turned up, governor springs, all that good stuff, probably won't go too crazy with it. Non-intercooled currently, I just fabbed up that pipe quick, uh, just merely so I could drive it but it will begin intercooled. Um, I, I have the intercooler and everything to do it. I just gotta do it. Custom made the downpipe. 
out of a second gen and first gen downpipe. Worked out pretty well. Um, this is an alternator off a of Chevy 60, which is uh, way more reliable. I don't have any stupid external voltage regulator on this thing. Um, this is merely one wire. Um, what else can I say about it? Uh, it's got a dual disc Valair clutch in it. Um, stock fan up front. And actually this fan did make some contact with this radiator, which isn't a huge deal at the moment because this radiator is gonna pour out. Putting a second gen radiator in. This is, this is our first gen. Um, we'll begin dual batteries. I'm gonna buy another tray for this side, put dual batteries in it. Apparently there's a fire going on. Um, stock turbo. Uh, it'll have four inch stainless exhaust. Coming out the back, I just need to build uh, a couple hangers for it. Get it mounted up. Stock tank, stock sending unit. Just took out the pump and ran new fuel lines for it. Pretty simple setup there. Pretty much made all the front end stuff. Um, stock coil buckets off of uh, 05 Super Duty and then WFO um, track bar mount springs. Uh, it, the truck I bought. It was a rolling 05 um, Ford Super Duty chassis. So I took the springs, shocks, coil buckets. It had a, I believe, eight inch Pro Comp lift on it already, which was sweet, because I already wanted these springs and you know, the whole nine yards. But I bought different radius arms, so I could adjust the uh, caster angle. Now, I did the WFO lower track bar mount. So you can see that down in there. That works out super nice. Looks good, plenty strong. Happy with that. Um, this stuff isn't painted yet, but I got the reed racing knuckle and the high steer arm. And my angles are pretty good between my steering and track bar. I'm, I'm happy with those. So I'm expecting this thing to drive pretty uh, pretty well down the road. Um, yeah, I'm uh, really excited to see how this thing drives. I still need to finish up my exhaust. There's NV5600, the big old uh, transfer case or er, transmission that it is. There's the transfer case, 271, like I said. This is a factory Ford drive shaft out of F-250, bolted right in. So that's awesome. So, still needs a bunch of work, bunch of little things done on it, but it's coming along. I just figured I'd show you guys the progress, progress so far. And uh, if you got any questions, let me know. I'll be putting the move bumper back on the front and uh, it should finish up the front end, make it look nicer. Like I said, I still gotta cut it out for the intercooler, second gen rad, and uh, intercool this thing, which shouldn't be too terrible, and go through the wiring harness. Simple enough stuff, it's just, uh, you know, I gotta get everything, I wanna get everything working first. Uh, everything, even crews, Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, it will have AC. And what I did for that is being that this is straight axled, usually there's a massive frame horn, kind of bumps out like that. But on this side, I just cut all that off, put a big uh, quarter inch plate in there, welded it in. And then I have plenty of room for the AC compressor with the factory brackets, which is sweet because then I can run a factory second gen uh, AC compressor so that work, should work out pretty pretty slick I'm thinking and I just hate the way they look when uh, they're a mid mount and the alternator gets 
moved up here and I don't care for the way it looks. I especially don't like when the alternate or the AC compressor sits here. I just think that looks terrible personally. But so this is it. Um, don't know what else to say about it. If you got any questions, let me know. It's been a work in progress. I know pretty much every inch of this truck now. And uh, my wife will have uh, one of the coolest 90 Chevs around. Uh, those wheels aren't staying. I'm looking for a set of XD Spy wheels. Um, that's what she had on here when it was a half ton. So I'm just trying to find a set of uh, 8x170 wheels. Um, that being said, these are factory Ford axles, so it's 8x170 bolt pattern. But it don't really matter because it's front and rear, so you know it doesn't make any difference. So that's where it's at. Like I said, I'm gonna slap back box on the mop tonight, and then uh, she'll look a little bit more like a truck. Uh, the other thing I did do, you can kind of tell, is uh, it has the WFO frame plates as well, which makes a nice flat spot to weld to. Um, really cleans up the frame, strengthens it quite a bit. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching, and. Uh, I'll post a video when I get this truck done.